trusted, Dason Proud. This is ABC Big Two News at 10. We start tonight with the spike of violence against law enforcement nationwide. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Martinez. And I'm Rob Tuke. Our, co our coverage continues with those deadly ambushes against police in New York, Wisconsin, and here in Texas. ABC's Brian Inton leads us off tonight with communities once again grieving officers killed in the line of duty. Police officers under attack on the streets of America this week. Violent images from Houston to Milwaukee to New York. But it's what comes after, the pain and suffering and stillness that families have to live with. Thousands of New York City police officers lined Manhattan's Fifth Avenue today. A sea of blue honoring a fellow officer. 22-year-old Jason Rivera shot and killed responding to a domestic violence call. The look on the faces of his fellow officers says it all, but no one can understand the pain like Officer Rivera's widow. I would say good morning to you all, but in fact, it's the worst morning ever. Dominique Luzuriaga says she feels lost without her husband. Thousands of people were surrounding me, and yet I felt alone. I couldn't believe you left me. Seeing you in a hospital bed wrapped up in sheets, not hearing you when I was talking to you, broke me. NYPD officer Wilbert Mora was also killed in the shootout. He donated his heart, liver, two kidneys, and pancreas to five patients needing life-saving organ transplants. Officers lined the streets when his body was moved from the medical examiner's office to the funeral home. It's very hard to lose a loved one, and even more, I think, hard when, you know, it's, it's a police officer. Very hard for family and friends of the fallen officers, but also so emotional for the officers themselves who go back out. Safe Texas versus Oscar Rosales. Across Texas tonight, we're getting a look at a man arrested for the murder of a Houston constable deputy. 51-year-old Oscar Rosales made an appearance in court on Friday. He was taken into custody in Mexico after an international manhunt. Rosales is accused of shooting and killing Corporal Charles Galloway during a traffic stop. He's been denied bond. In McAllen tonight, three teens are charged with the murder of a man. That man was accused of touching a young relative inappropriately. Now an online petition is circulating calling for their release. So far it's gained nearly 290,000 signatures and the number keeps growing. The creator of this change.org petition says he is hoping to enact change. Out of that failure of the system is where these kids find the need uh, to act in the way they did. Once again, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but we have to put things into context. If we did have a functioning justice system, I don't think we would ever get to this situation. Our sister station in McAllen spoke with legal experts to advise people should never take justice into their own hands, but to go through the legal system. Along parts of East Coast tonight, drivers are being urged to stay off the roads. Snow is trapping some drivers and forcing them to navigate some dangerous winter conditions. Tonight, thousands are also left without power as a northeastern storm continues to dump snow along the East Coast. And people from New York City to Maine are dealing with half a foot of snow. In Boston, people are seeing up to two feet of snow. ABC's Ike Jochi is on the ground tonight with those blizzard warnings. Approximately 80 million people are in the path of a monster winter storm moving along the East Coast. Blizzard warnings stretching from parts of Virginia through Maine. Thousands of flights canceled, impacting air travel nationwide. New York City and parts of the Hudson Valley could see a foot of snow. Further east on Long Island, totals could reach two feet. Uh, this could be life-threatening, and we want to make sure that we took all the steps 
what we believe were necessary, including starting with the declaration of emergency, a state of emergency. Officials warning people to stay home and stay off the roads so plows can do their job. Uh, this is going to go on through the evening, so that's why we're urging everybody to stay safe, stay at home. Connecticut and Massachusetts banning tractor trailers from all interstate roads. Conditions are expected to make travel nearly impossible. Boston, with its first blizzard warning in four years, the city could see as much as two feet of snow and 70 mile per hour wind gusts. This is likely to be an intense, dangerous storm with heavy snow, high winds, and whiteout conditions. Visibility in Sandwich, Massachusetts, near zero. And while the storm is causing problems for some, others are enjoying the winter weather. So as soon as we saw that there was a snowstorm or whatever, I know I wanted to be out here because I love the snow. I grew up in this house, so I'm not used to the snow. So this is like amazing for me. I love this. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, this is very icy snow. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> well, those New York snow plows are going after everyone. At least one person is finding some humor during those blizzard conditions. The man was just talking about icy snow, and the snow plows seem to have hit it, have hit him with the snow on its cue. And taking a live look now from our Odessa Sky Cam. It's a bit chilly outside. Time now for a look at our local forecast. Here's Bridget Sarpong. Now, your big two forecast first. Happy Saturday, friends. The weekend has arrived and today's temperatures not too bad for the Permian Basin. Today, West Texans were able to enjoy 57 degree temperatures. Usually around this time, we're definitely used to 60 degree, 60 degree temperatures. So today, not too far off like how we were back in 1967 when we were sitting at 78 degrees. I have more of today's forecast later on in the show. Back over to you guys. Now it's an update on our nation's capital. The White House is actually actively looking at a replacement in the Supreme Court. Uh, Justice Stephen Breyer announced this past week he would retire at the end of the current court term. And as Judy Wing reports tonight, President Biden is still pledging to nominate the first black woman to the Supreme Court. It is the first time the White House is publicly confirming a contender's name. South Carolina federal judge J. Michelle Childs. This is our moment. I'm excited, especially for the women who have been putting in work. That person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. It's long overdue in my view. In replacing Justice Stephen Breyer, President Biden is vowing to make good on a campaign promise. Other names surfacing as potential candidates for the high court, Washington, D.C. Federal Appeals Court Judge Kentanji Brown-Jackson and California Supreme Court Justice Leandra Kruger. Finally, we will not only have someone who will bring the experience of being black in America, but someone who has lived at the intersections of race and gender. Judith Brown Dionis is executive director of the Racial Justice Organization Advancement Project. She believes this is also a moment of reckoning for the legal profession, an opportunity to have discussions on what it means to be qualified. Because the qualifications that we have in the past used have been a metric that really has been based on a career pathway that has been reserved for white men traditionally, and some white women. And so there are very few people of color <laughs> and black people who have that pathway because there's a lot of discrimination that happens along the way. President Biden plans to announce his pick by the end of February. To stay up to date with more developing news and other top stories, head to our website, yourbasin.com. Well, friends, today was a very clear kind of Saturday for the Basin. However, tomorrow we will see some rain chances around 3 and 4 p.m. How long would that rain stay with us tomorrow? I'll have that answer after the break. Coming up in sports, a basketball doubleheader and a big birthday for a local mascot. Coming up after the break, it gets colder. There are new fire dangers. As more people head inside, more space heaters are coming out. What fire crews are warning next? had these feelings in a long time. Clayton needs to know who she really is. Hate my name out of your mouth. Oh my god! 
It's Shanae's show, not The Bachelor. No, it's The Bachelor. New Monday on ABC and stream on Hulu. This week, we're celebrating the local flavor of some of America's finest cities. New York, Dallas, San Diego, Baltimore, Cincinnati. Next, we'll take a bite out of the Big Apple. Good New York match going here. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gadillionaire. With AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gadillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. Join us at Johnny Carino's for our 5 for $15 top sirloin steak and shrimp scampi meal deal. Enjoy our Italian nachos appetizer. Juicy char grilled top sirloin steak. Savory shrimp scampi. Sautéed in a white wine lemon butter sauce. Your choice of pasta, a refreshing beverage, and our fresh baked bread for only $15. Famous Dave's Barbecue, now open for it to go. Enjoy a $5 brisket sandwich piled high with smoky Texas beef brisket. Order now at FamousDave's.com. AlleveX. It's fast, powerful, long-lasting relief with a revolutionary roll of all design. Because with the right pain reliever, life opens up. <laughs> Alleve it and see what's possible. Keep on rising till we touch, touch, touching the stars. The NHL All Star Game, February 5th on ABC and ESPN Plus. A local judge is like no other. I'm Ozzy Mora. Coming up on Wednesday at 6 and 10 on ABC Big Two, find out what she's doing to help people get their lives back on track. your local weather authority we warned you first our team is working around the clock to keep you and your family safe what you need to know on abc big two news your weather authority we warn you first. Well, friends, happy Saturday, and let's get into some weather fun. Today, not too bad to kick off the weekend. Today, West Texans were able to enjoy 57 degree temperatures. Usually around this time, really ending closer to February, we're definitely used to 60 degree temperatures. Today, not as warm as we were back in 1967, when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 78 degrees. Taking a look at our lows, we did come short for that today. 21 degrees for our lows. Usually around this time in January, we're definitely used to 34 degree temperatures. Even though we were cold today, we weren't as cold as how we were back in 1948 when we were sitting at a steamy, and some would say steamy, some would say cool, two degrees. Only two degrees for the Permian Basin. And actually, speaking of the Permian Basin, take a look at everyone else's temperatures. For the most part, sitting in their upper 50s to lower 60s. Midland Odessa 57. Then we have Big Spring at 61 degrees. Seminole 60 degrees. Our friends at Presidio was always nice and warm. Actually managed to get to 61 degree temperatures. Definitely not too bad for the Permian Basin whatsoever. And taking a look at that temperature change right in this moment. We are one degree cooler than we were yesterday. Big Spring and Seminole 5 along with Presidio sitting at 5 degrees warmer this same time yesterday. And actually our friends in Marfa warming up to nine degrees along with Alpine nine degrees warmer than they were the same time yesterday so from some areas it was pretty cool but for the most part the entire basin sat in the upper 50s to lower 60s going on into tonight we will be sitting in our 30s a very mostly clear kind of evening there will be a couple stars out there along with the clouds so do be sure to bundle up just a little bit because 30 degrees is going to be cool and actually speaking of some coolness we are going to have a cold front touching the basin around 9 a.m. for our early risers putting us at 41 degrees for Midland Odessa, 39 degrees tying with Seminole and for Big Spring. And then our friends at Presidio will be sitting at a nice and cool 54 degrees. For the most part, by 9 a.m., everyone will be sitting in their lower 40s to their mid 50s. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. That cold front is going to leave us by the time we get into noon, increasing our temperatures to our lower to mid 60s, having us at 62 degrees by noon, Midland Odessa, 59 for Big Spring, 57 for Seminole. Our friends at Presidio going all the way up to 
66, but then we have Big Bend sitting at 67, tying with Alpine. But we do have some areas reaching their lower 50s, such as Carlsbad sitting at 55 degrees. So for the most part, everyone's sitting in their mid 50s to lower 60s. That cold front is going to come back out around 11 a.m., so definitely not too bad whatsoever. But by that time that seven day forecast does pop up, it will show that we will be waking up to some really good temperatures, but we will see some rain in the afternoon time around 65 degrees for the most part. But then we get in some more rain chances throughout the rest of the week. It's going to be a sunny Sunday until we get into the afternoon time when we do see some of that rain. For the most part, definitely not too bad for the Permian Basin. Enjoy your Sunday, you guys. Thank you, Bridget. With freaking weather upon us, a lot of us are turning to space heaters to keep us cozy tonight. But it's always important to take safety precautions when using them. Space heaters can lead to fires, some deadly. ABC's Rob Marciano shows us the right steps to stay safe and warm. As winter temperatures continue to drop, some homeowners will fight the cold with space heaters. And experts warn that stationary and portable space heaters cause 81% of home heating fire deaths. Just this month in New York City, this 19-story Bronx apartment building engulfed in flames, killing 17 people, including a two-year-old. Officials say a space heater sparked the fire, devastating the community. In the last few weeks, space heaters contributed to fires nationwide. This one in Illinois igniting a second-story bedroom. And this one in Texas, leaving one person dead. The heaters, please be careful with these heaters. Last winter, GMA teamed up with Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Service to demonstrate the potential dangers of space heaters and how to stay safe. First, how hot can they really get? And then you see it spiking to 300 degrees. If you were to touch that, you could burn yourself. The next demonstration, how quickly a fire can spread when a space heater is too close to combustible items. This mock living room has a space heater placed too close to the couch. And the safety feature, an automatic shutdown if the space heater overheats, has been turned off. And you can see smoke already. Look at it coming up from underneath the couch now. All right, we're going to step away. The flames begin to build. Firefighters having to put the blaze out after just five minutes. You could not survive this. Authorities say fires happen when people use the space heaters unsafely, not because the device is unsafe. How do you stay safe? Well, keep space heaters at least three feet away from anything that can burn. Never use an extension cord. Plug the space heater directly into the wall outlet and never leave a space heater unattended. And there's a whole other set of rules for propane indoor gas heaters. Certainly want a carbon monoxide monitor with that and make sure it is built to be indoors. Stay warm, stay safe. The blizzard of 2022 is ongoing, certainly here in New England. Rob Marciano, ABC News, Boston. We've got Avi Kargloth to take us through a busy sports day. Avi, the day started with some shocking news. Yeah, shocking. You could say that. Earlier this afternoon, ESPN reported that Tom Brady would be retiring from football, one of the greatest athletes in the history of pro sports. Brady would be retiring after 22 seasons and seven Super Bowl wins. But there has been a little bit of pushback on the reporting. Numerous additional reports have noted that Brady himself has not officially confirmed he is retiring. Multiple reports say that Brady contacted the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and told them he has not made up his mind on whether he'll play in 2022. Brady's father, Tom Brady Sr., has also said his son hasn't decided anything yet. His agent wrote a statement in which he didn't comment on the accuracy of the reporting, but he said that Brady himself will be the one to express his plans with complete accuracy. If this is the end, what a wild ride this has been. And to college hoops, UTPB men's team facing the top-ranked D2 team in the country. Opening half, this is Lubbock against Lubbock Christian. Kendall Frey, a half-step stop, and then a fadeaway. Had his man frozen like an icicle during those northeastern storms. How about Max Warren getting the rock inside the right block? Turns over one shoulder, then the other. Oh, soft touch right there for two. Putting in work on the post. A little bit of a dream shake right there as UTPB keeps it going. Off a of steal, Jordan Horn making things happen. Happen. Shows and goes a tough gather and finish. Easy bucket there for the Falcons. 
in transition. UTPB hanging tough with the top D2 team in the country. But then a cross court pass finds Miles Daniels, hits the fall away. Bang! Falcons they had a couple of chances today, and that was a big one right there, and one opportunity for the Falcons. They didn't convert this one, but then Keon Craddock off the horn assist in rhythm. Falcons they hung tough, but they would fall by seven. And to the women's side, we go right to the third quarter, also against Lubbock Christian. Kamari Portales, nice pocket pass off the pick and roll. Alexis Wyckoff follows her miss for the bucket. Probably should have been an and one right there. And then Alexis Popham, born ready to shoot, even before she touches the rock. Splashing the triple there, UTPB with some big shots. This was a seven-point game at halftime, started to get a little bit away, but here, how about this? Avalon Munez, she's the bus driver taking the defender to school. Handles and one jumper right there. Munoz would keep things going. And then Ogechi Nwoda looking for someone to pass to. Nah, she says, so do it yourself. Line drive jump shot goes right in. Falcons, though, they would drop this one 83 to 61. And at the Ector County Coliseum tonight, it was Slapjack's 25th birthday, the Odessa Jackalope's mascot. His birthday celebrations kicked off before the game. Hey, that's a kangaroo right there. Had a petting zoo, had a bouncing house, had balloon animals. It was a fun time even before the puck dropped. There was a lot of joyous atmosphere, very family-friendly time. Hey, how about Slapjack enjoying the crowd? Yeah, do a little step right there. Wearing those special 25th anniversary jerseys to the ice, though, in the first period. Noah Ruprecht in goal saved the shot right by his stomach. He was doing a lot of the heavy lifting early on. And then Ruprecht again saves the one-timer with his knee pads and then absolutely consumes the follow-up attempt. No score from either side in the first period. And in the second period, the Jacks had their chances. Ryan Yates scoops up the loose puck. Oh, just hit the post and misses. The Jacks, though, would score in the period, but they would fall 5-1. to one. So as you guys can tell, a busy day in sports. A lot going on in the basin, but Tom Brady, the big story of the day, is he done? We'll find out hopefully soon. It's a huge question. What do you think, Rob? I am. Um, well, I, I can't say anything, and I, I do think that regardless of if he's done or not, he's had an incredible career. So I know a lot of people playing against him hope that he's done. <laughs> That's yeah. for sure. No, absolutely. Thank you, Avi. Mr. Trump is in Texas tonight on stage at a rally. Up next, what the former president is saying tonight and who's come to watch. We'll be right back. our two biggest days to save at Ashley Home Store. Saturday and Sunday only. Save 25% off store-wide with no minimum purchase. Or get 0% interest for five years with no minimum purchase and no down payment. Two days only at Ashley Home Store. Next week, we're bringing you to the town that takes Groundhog Day to the next level. Get ready for the weather forecast heard round the world. Will Punxsutawney Phil see a shadow? Join the party live from Pennsylvania next week on Morning in America. News Nation is redefining cable news. In its first year, News Nation was named both neutral in bias and most reliable and is now the fastest growing cable news network in the country. News Nation, news for all America. Join Planet Fitness today for zero enrollment. Zero, like a bagel. And it's only $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Bagels are awesome. Enjoy tons of equipment for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment. And 10 bucks a month. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. But the part that'll really get you going is that post-workout high. Look at that glow. Oh, it's all natural. It's this place, I tell you. Feel fittacular in 2022 for zero enrollment, $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends February 2nd. A fresh start begins with fresh choices, like choosing to save more with Suddenly. Get reliable, high-speed, one-gig internet for just $49.99 a month. With it, you'll get a $200 Visa prepaid card, HBO Max included on us for one year, and a free Sudden Link stream with your favorite shows and streaming apps all in one device. Choose to start fresh by saving more on our fastest speed. Plus, as part of optimum flexibility from Sudden Link, there are no contracts or hidden fees. And unlock even more value when you combine with Optimum Mobile. Visit SuddenLink.com today. It's our two biggest days to save at Ashley Home Store. Saturday and Sunday only. Save 25% off store-wide with no minimum purchase. Find this upholstered queen bed, now only $5.19. Or get 0% interest for five years. Two days only at Ashley Home Store. 
Watch Samantha Smarechniak and meteorologist Ryan DePhillips at 11.30. Former President Donald Trump is in Texas tonight. He's holding a large rally with top Republican officials in Conroe. That's just north of Houston. Mr. Trump took the stage of a few hours ago at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Yeah, it's all part of his Save America rally. Other speakers tonight include Texas law enforcement and Governor Greg Abbott. Our Monica Madden is in Conroe with the latest. We're here in Conroe where you can see this crowd of thousands of people behind me are waiting for former President Donald Trump to take the stage. Now, he's here in Texas to, one, ramp up his base, but also for a specific reason. We've got Texas's top Republican elected officials here tonight who are hoping to drum up that same level of support and energy you can see in this crowd for them come the primary elections in March, just about a month away. Now, we're hearing from Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, Governor Greg Abbott, and Attorney General Ken Paxton tonight. Again, they're all up for re-election, and we talked to several different voters about this just to hear what they're thinking for the primary, who they're leaning towards. You know, incumbents have a strong advantage here in Texas, and that was what we heard from from voters. A lot of mixed reviews, but the one race that they're really interested in right now is the gubernatorial race. Now, again, like I said earlier, we're still waiting for the former president to take the stage. We'll have a lot more coverage later tonight and we'll bring you that for now in Conroe I'm Monica Thousands of protesters gathered in front of Canada's parliament today. It's all part of a movement by truckers to challenge a government vaccination mandate. A loosely organized freedom convoy of trucks set out last weekend from the western province of British Columbia. The convoy was organized in response to a regulation implemented this month that requires truckers returning from the U.S. to show proof of vaccination. We have a new officers in the community, but also a new fiancé. That unique proposal coming up. See Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Valles and Enderman Injury Lawyers. COVID is surging. Hospitals are full. People are really sick. Get tested. Get vaccinated. Get boosted. Please help our healthcare workers. VaccineNM.org. From 1 to 101, celebrate your birthday with ABC Big Two News. Sponsored by Nothing Bunt Cakes. Every Friday, we'll share some of your birthdays. Just go to yourbasin.com to nominate someone special. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We are just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ruh. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gazillionaire. With AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gazillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. Go ahead, keep on rising to it. Touch, touch, touching the stars. The NHL All-Star Game, February 5th on ABC and ESPN+. COVID is surging. Hospitals are full. People are really sick. Get tested. Get vaccinated. Get boosted. Please help our healthcare workers. VaccineNM.org. I did not expect it. I mean, like you said, it's been a while that we've been together. And so whenever it happened, I was like, okay, finally, you know? <laughs> Well, new at 10, a nearly, newly graduated rather and certified Odessa police officer had quite the week. Not only did he graduate from the academy, but he proposed to his life partner. I know. We saw that special moment for Officer Limon and his soon-to-be wife, Mariah Lujan. 
The Odessa Police Department hosted their new officer graduation ceremony at the Odessa Marriott this Friday. Seven officers and two fire marshals were able to finally finish their academy and be honored to be ready to serve the community on the line of duty. But one officer, Cameron Limon, had an add-on accomplishment to his ceremony as he proposes to his soon-to-be wife, Mariah Lujan. A day that we'll never forget. Uh, I'll never forget my graduation and I felt like it would be, you know, perfect for, you know, us being engaged on the same day I graduated. The moment they both have been waiting for, yet his accomplishment comes with a ring. He says to get the perfect ring, he had help from everyone to pick out the perfect ring, but it was not easy. Uh, about the ring, just to see what what kind of ring style she liked. Uh, my mom helped me out a lot, so yeah, it, it, it took some time. It took quite a while. Limon's soon-to-be wife says it's a peace of mind that he was able to earn his place as an Odessa police officer, and it means as much to her as it does to him. I've seen him stress out. I've seen him study. I've seen him go on the weekends to different um, things, events that they have. And so seeing him finally get this and accomplish this, it means a lot to me because I was there for most of it, you know, and it's just very rewarding. As this couple continues on this new life journey, Officer Limon serves his community as a new police officer for the Odessa Police Department. Oh, what a touching story and congratulations to them both. Well, someone in California is probably celebrating tonight, too. A winning lottery ticket for the Mega Millions draw last night, about $421 million, was sold at a gas station near Los Angeles. Four tickets matched the five numbers to win the game's second prize. One of those tickets was sold here in Texas. We don't know where yet, but meantime, the lottery for the Mega Millions resets to $20 million. Coming up after the break, Bridget will take one last look at the forecast. Stay tuned. It's the seven-day winter sale at Furniture Row. So get ready because every sofa, dining table, and bed is on sale. Plus, five years, no interest financing. But hurry, the seven-day winter sale at Furniture Row ends Thursday. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, CEO of MyPillow. Cancel culture has not only affected myself and my pillow, but also millions of you out there. My employees and I want to personally thank each and every one of you for all your support. At my pillow, we have hundreds of products now, including my new slippers, bathrobes, sleepwear, and my new beds. We are offering the best products ever for the best prices ever. For example, we have the standard size my pillows. Regularly $69.98, now only $19.98 with your promo code. Or you can get custom fit with my premium queen size my pillows. Regularly $79.98, now just $29.98. Or my king size, regularly $89.98, now just $34.98. So go to mypillow.com now and use the promo code on your screen or call the 1 800 number below to receive these exclusive offers. Thank you and God bless. The big game is almost here. Get ready for the action and tailgate with us. We're inside the stadium where it all goes down. SoFi Stadium! And we've got the food. This is a great sampling of what we serve here at SoFi Stadium. The fun. The Hall of Famers. You're talking about 354 individuals who have a bronze bust here. And of course, football. Big game tailgate. Monday at 5 p.m. Sponsored by American Cleaning Systems. Looking for great sleep at a great price? Denver Mattress has you covered. And during the seven-day winter sale, check out the Summit Firm for only $299.99. Plus five years, no interest, and free shipping. Say goodbye to sleepless nights and shop Denver Mattress today. Before we leave, let's take one last look at that seven-day forecast. Tomorrow will be sunny, but we will have some of that rain chances towards the afternoon. And it will stay in the basin until Monday morning. And then it's going to roll on over into Monday with a 30% chance of some rain. We will get some days where it will be dry, such as Tuesday. And then on Friday for the upcoming new weekend. But for the most part, definitely not too bad whatsoever. We will be sitting in our 60s for the first half of this, uh, this week. And then we get into the later half of the week, sitting in our 30s. But for the most part, do enjoy that 60 degree weather. It was a race for no, like no other at New Orleans fairgrounds today. Exotic animals raced against each other like these camels. Look at that. Check them out. They're actually pretty fast. 
Uh, the camels were the first to race, but there were also ostriches and zebras who competed against each other. They're not being shown here, just the camels. But this event has been a yearly staple in New Orleans since 2012. And it was uh, stopped last year because of COVID-19. So I know the people that returned were having quite the time today under the sun watching camels race. I want to plan a, an event like that on the weekends. I've, I don't, it's kind of a strange, goofy thing to do. I know, right? But that's all the time we have for news. Thank you so much for joining us. Good night.